tips as to what you can do if you have oily to combination skin is one to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water if you're not drinking and hydrating yourself on water you're not helping yourself with the oil production because really if your skin has a lot of impurities it's going to cause it to overproduce a lot of oil but if you're making sure that you're flushing those toxins out of your body and drinking a good amount of water on a daily basis you'll be set to go on getting your skin on the right track for it being completely healthy literally also washing your hands before washing your face is very imperative i know a lot of people are like well why are you mentioning this well yes because some people may not think about it they may just go right in and just start getting to it to washing their face so make sure you stop wash your hands with some antibacterial soap yes antibacterial soap before you actually go in with washing your face especially if you are wearing fingernails your ladies you definitely want to make sure you're doing that because it just it just carries so much bacteria Another tip I can recommend if you have oily to combination skin is to keep your hands off of your damn face. Stop touching your face so much. Stop leaning on your face so much. I used to do that all the time and I just didn't realize it was a habit of mine. And so I stopped doing that. Another tip is to not try to mess with your breakouts. I know it's hard. I know it's like, oh, they look so nasty. They're big. I don't want them to be there throughout the day. But honestly, you popping that zit and just letting it sit there and not giving it that immediate attention to cleanse it is setting yourself up for failure stop popping your bumps and all that leave them alone if you see that you're having a bad breakout coming up throughout the day and believe me i get them they'll be small and then four hours later they'll be big and white i mean that's just nasty i hate it but do not mess with it wait till you get home so that we can wash your face wash your hands first but then you can wash your face and then treat your whole face all together so that way you don't create any more additional breakouts on your skin you don't want that you're just going to spread the bacteria from that original one that you messed with originally to the other ones and it's just going to be a revolving door of the same crap of just reappearing breakouts another tip that i can give you is also what you're eating if you're eating a lot of dairy or and believe me i love ice cream i love cheese but slowly and surely i have been cutting a lot of dairy out of my diet one was already milk altogether i have not drunk regular milk <laughs> probably in about three years now maybe four years is also cutting out a lot of red meat <laughs> i stopped cutting i stopped eating a lot of that red meat i don't eat pork i really don't eat beef i may get a burger every now and again i mean i'm human i have those cravings but it's not something that i eat on a daily basis so yeah my diet right now is like kind of changing a lot of stuff that i'm eating is changing too hence why my face has been clearing up you guys another tip is to stick with your regimen stop trying so many things at one time i know i was at a place on my skincare journey where i was just trying a lot out i was like oh let me try this let me try that let me see if that's gonna work blah blah blah, blah. you have to actually buy something use it and see if it works if it doesn't work pass it on to someone else or go get your money back i know it can be a battle at times but believe me stick the course believe in yourself and if you start seeing results don't quit what you're using don't sidetrack stay the course i'm telling you everyone can have beautiful glowing skin and you do not have to be a gazillionaire to have beautiful skin okay i just thank you guys so much for all of your love and support queens please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next upload queens be blessed Bye.